So we've just been talking to the owner of Lower Fennifold Farm, a lady called Florence, nice lady. And she was just telling us about um, the story of Richard and Sarah, funny enough. Didn't go into too much detail other than that, obviously where we've just shown you guys where it all took place, we can confirm pretty much now that that is exactly where it took place. Uh, but yeah, she was saying that um, when she knew him, he actually got sent away for 10 years. Now, I'm not sure if that is correct. I don't know. The newspaper reports all say the same. He served three years cerebral penitude. But this lady seems to think he was there for 10 years. And then when he was released, she remembered seeing him sat on the wall further up this lane you know, where we're going back now, back to the car. Um, but same story. But her words were, the young lad who murdered his girlfriend, married woman. Her words, murdered. I mean, that's kind of interesting because the lady we just spoke to was an elderly lady. She's obviously been here for many years. She obviously knew Richard and the story, but her first word was murdered. So I suppose we do have to think, did he actually get away with murder? I mean, I don't want to accuse the authorities of obviously getting things wrong. You know, and it's done now, it's history. Richard is no longer with us. But obviously there's still, obviously there's some family relatives I would have thought somewhere. So we have to be very careful. But it's interesting the word, just the word alone, the young guy that murdered his girlfriend. You know, I mean, did he get away with it? Or it was, like I, I still personally believe, how he mentioned it, that's how it all happened.